Hello everyone, welcome to another video. We're really cranking these out at the moment, but it's just because I'm finding new ways every single day to make more and more gold. Now this is known as the Firewing Farm as labeled by me. I've not seen this farm anywhere else right now, but this is a multi-farm. Now the area this is in is in the good old Terraka Forest. Now many of my farms recently have been here uh, this is at the firing post and we're also going to be doing another farm just on the edge of here whilst we wait for these to spawn now I would recommend that you do this in with a speed set you don't have to and moon can form is even better and you make a macro that allows you to target any enemy so just tag an enemy and then cast moon fire and this farm is really really simple all I do is I go around and I kill as many of these things as you can now you will see that they drop the fire wing signet now at the moment these are going for 37 gold on the auction house and the drop rate here is around 30 percent very similar to other um other drops in the area particularly for reputation farms and any reputation farm is always a pretty good income now all i do at the moment so if i just kind of spend a minute just We'll just kill as many of these as we can. So what I tend to do, just run around, kill. I mean, you could even go in feral form and loot just just to show you that you know it's not like a, a mega rare drop. Just run. So there's there's all these buildings. I honestly just tend to go around in a circle and just kill everything. Obviously, they do have transmog greens as well, which are really really good to have uh, I've not noticed any other collectible um, but I have uh, farmed here a little bit and the sell rate for these signets is not bad at all it looks like on the auction house 300 to 400 of them are being sold a day so that to me is pretty pretty good and uh, is even is three times better than the actual venom sacks from the spiders so give this farm a go see what you think see how much um how much money you make and uh do make sure you comment in the comments so let me know how you find it now what i tend to do is once i've killed the majority of them over there i will come down here uh and with skinning i will go all the way around there just to give them time to actually respawn. Now, these crocodiles or iron spine chompers, they drop uh, fell, fell scales, I believe, not hide scales, and the crystallized infused, I'm not sure if I said that right, um, when you skin them. So they're pretty profitable, so killing each one is, is gonna grant you at least at least five gold um, and yeah it's just a really really easy farm so you're probably gonna kill kind of I don't know 10 20 of these and then you're gonna make your way there you go so there's the crystallizing fuse so you can see that is around 20 gold market value and again it sells really really well at the moment uh, just like a lot of TBC skinning farms do so there you go you can see we've just got another one so now we've uh, we've kind of killed a few what I tend to do is I tend to kind of go up to this hill or just uh, a little bit up there so we might as well just finish these and then what I do is I fly back because it's just up here there's also treasure spawns as well uh, so keep an eye out for them here. They guaranteed blue loot. So once you've, you've finished killing them, what I tend to do is just start killing all these again. And loot up and loot away. Um, now in terms of how much gold you're going to make an hour, this is... It's going to be very, very dependent um, on obviously the loot that you get. Uh, and if anything 
rare actually drops but you will probably get i imagine if you do this for an hour anywhere between two to three hundred signets i mean just in what two minutes you can see i've already got like 15. so yeah the drops are, are really really good and it's just a really solid farm with zero competition i've had no competition today doing this at all and i've mixed it in with some other farms that i've also put on my channel so guys if this video does help please be sure to comment like and subscribe and don't forget to check me out when i am live we do farms we do lots of pvp um, and we have a really positive community bye